Well, hello everyone at St. Philip's Nursery School. Mrs. Benjamin here again. We're gonna take a little tour into the greenhouse here at my house. Oh, there's a little birdhouse there too. We're hoping for a wren to make its home in there. But we'll take a little time travel into our greenhouse. I'll open up, here we are, the window. And there's Mr. Benjamin. Hey everybody! Hey Mr. Benjamin, what are you doing in there? Well, we're nursing up our tomato plants, in which I started from seeds. And if you can look in there, the seeds are so tiny. Let me see if I can find... You even see them. I mean, they're like the size oh, of Oh, I see a freckle. few. They're like yellow, aren't they? Or yeah. beige colored. Those are the tomato seeds. Tomato seeds. Each one of these, if you come around... And these are what I'm going to plant now for you. These are our favorite kabucha squash seeds. Oh. Which you don't have to start inside, but I like to start a few just to give them a jump on the season. So you can see how different the seeds, the shapes, the colors, everything, right? How much bigger the squash seed is from the tomato seed. And they're very easy to plant. The tomato seeds are difficult. But if you right. come around over here, okay. you want to walk around or do you? I'm right on? here. I'm just looking in the window. Okay, so all these were started by those tiny little seeds. But now that I have these big squash seeds, I just take them, put them in this pot. I'm going to put about six in there. And once they come up, hopefully they'll all germinate. Right. Come up. Four, five, six. Well, great. So Can you bring that are. over and show it? Show that to us. Here they are. There. You can see them just peeking out. But I'll cover that up with oh, a little yeah, bit I see of them dirt. There. How many did you put in there? Six. We'll see how many come up. It's a, they should all germinate, really, if they're good seeds from Johnny. Oh, great. So there we go. That's good. done. We'll have a little view around the greenhouse here. Right. Shelves and windows and pots, lots of plants. The floor, you can see, is gravel. Why is it gravel? Well, because if you spill water, which you always do because you're watering the plants, it just runs right out into the ground. That's very nice. Yeah, nice. And I see this whole line of plants here and these things that are hanging hanging down from the ceiling. What are those? These are actually lights. These are grow lights, which we put on at night to give the little more emphasis to grow. And then for cold night lights coming up, we use these hot pads that are electric. You put under your uh, planting so these plants like to be warm and have lots of light. Even the, this isn't sunlight up above here, but that's the light that makes them grow, right? That's the good, good, good light that makes right. them grow. And how many plants do you have in here now? Well, I, I, I'm sure I have over 300. Oh, very nice. <laughs> yes, we have stuff over here. We have leeks over here. I'm trying some parsley that likes to germinate in the shade under the, oh, there's some. Oh. And then, Basil. Everybody loves basil. If you're growing tomatoes, you got to have basil. Right. And these are little tiny basils. Oh, yeah. I'll show you what tiny, they look like. Tiny, tiny. But tiny they, little... already they smell wonderfully. Yeah, look at that. A lot of peppers. But the things that have these pointed leaves are different types of peppers. Look at that. Sweet peppers, right. hot right. peppers. Right. And so then when the weather gets warmer... Another two weeks, maybe. Another two weeks. weeks, three weeks, you'll move them all outside and we'll... Put, Put in the them garden. in our garden outside. And anybody who goes to St. Philip's who is growing a garden, they can come and get a tomato plant or a basil plant. All a couple right. maybe if they're going to take good care of them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that's a nice offer, Mr. Benjamin. Thank you so much okay, for the everybody. tour around the greenhouse.